Joining me now is Illinois Democratic Congressman Rajna Krishnamurthy. He is a member of the House Intel and House Oversight Committees. Congressman, welcome. Thank you for being here. Sure, Katie. Thank you. So uh, today, Adam Schiff told The Washington Post that there is undoubtedly there is collusion. Undoubtedly, there is collusion. Is Adam Schiff saying that the William Barr summary is not the correct summary of Robert Mueller's report? Um, I have not personally heard him say that. I've heard Ch Chairman Adam Schiff say there's uh, evidence of collusion, uh, but ultimately I think that he has also uh, told people like me that he was going to abide by the conclusions that Robert, M Robert Mueller came to with regard to these issues. But Katie, I think underlying all of this is the fact that we don't have a report or any materials to back up the findings. So we're kind of in the dark right now, despite the fact that the American people want the Mueller report. They don't want the Barr report. So when he says undoubtedly there is collusion, you believe what he means is there's evidence of collusion. Yes, that's that's how um, I've heard him say it uh, multiple times. And so um, I think that uh, with regard to evidence of collusion, um, obviously uh, it's well documented what that what those uh, uh, pieces of evidence are. What are they? Um, that being, well, just a couple examples. Um, there was the. Uh, meeting between Paul Manafort, uh, the chairman of the president's campaign, and a gentleman named Konstantin Kalimnik, uh, who is connected to the Russian spy services. And in that meeting in a cigar bar in New York City, of all places, uh, Mr. Manafort actually passed private, private polling data to Mr. Kalimnik, and Mr. Kalimnik asked for relief for, from sanctions on Russia. Um, and this is something that uh, we know because Paul Manafort lied about it um, in the proceedings in, in D.C. This is just one piece of evidence. That being said, we need to see the report. We need to see what Mr. Mueller said about this particular uh, instance as well as others. Bill Barr's summary says that Robert Mueller found no evidence of conspiracy between Donald Trump's campaign and the Russians. No tacit or explicit conspiracy. Are you saying that Robert Mueller might be wrong or might have been or, or, saying? Yeah, I think uh, what I'm saying is that there might be uh, evidence of collusion, although Put it, put but if there's no together. evidence of collusion to, to rise to the level of a crime, what do you suggest is the remedy? Well, um, I think that one of the problems that we have is, again, we don't have the report, so we don't know, for instance, how does this bear on counterintelligence issues. Katie, this is a really important point that um, I hope that uh, folks may already know in your audience, which is that our committee is charged with a mission which is much broader than what, what uh, Special Counsel Mueller faced. Namely, we're trying to get at how do we protect our country, how do we make sure that 2016 doesn't happen again, and that in part goes to what are the ties between potentially members of our government and our foreign adversaries, um, and whether they might be compromised, these individuals in our government, and whether their connections are to uh, uh, an extent so secret that if they were divulged, um, they would embarrass the subject and therefore form a source of leverage for our adversaries. On that issue of counterintelligence, Adam Schiff to the Washington Post yesterday says this, we're going to continue our investigation on counterintelligence issues. That is, is the president or people around him compromised in any way by a hostile foreign power, lining up with what you're saying. He adds, it doesn't appear there was any part of Mueller's report that they were discussing, we assume, uh, counterintelligence. Um, is that what you understand as well, that the Mueller report doesn't include any counterintelligence? I'm not sure about that, Katie. Again, I haven't seen the report. Um, that being said, uh, there, there is a... Um, hope or presumption um, that uh, Mr. Mueller would brief us or uh, somehow inform us about counterintelligence matters that he came across within his investigation. But at the end of the day, you know, 84 percent of the American people want that report want it now. The fact that we haven't received it yet um, is really, unfortunately, uh, a sign that there might be things in there that the uh, attorney general or President Trump himself don't want us to see. And the question is why? The attorney general says he's going to make, or G Lindsey Graham and, and a, a source that told NBC News says the attorney general will make the report public in weeks, not months. Are, are you saying that the report 
um, is going to be different than the summary we saw. Are you confident that Bill Barr is going to release enough of the report to to contradict the summary, in your opinion, if you believe it will? Um, I'm not confident about anything with regard to what Bill Barr is going to do with this report at this point, Katie. Um, one thing that I am concerned about is that uh, he himself uh, may redact sections um, and, or share those sections with the White House and ask for their uh, edits. And that would be um, really problematic because the target of an investigation should not have uh, input into uh, redacting uh, the report about that target. So uh, we have a lot of concerns. Well, you don't know if the president of the United States was a target of the investigation. Well, we know that uh, uh, he was a target to the extent that uh, the bar summary had to clear him of criminal conspiracy. And so, therefore, um, the fact that he well, is mentioned in that way is why Mueller he's a when subject. Robert Mueller said there was no conspiracy of the Trump campaign between the Trump campaign and Russia. Um, well, I think that uh, certainly President Trump um, was a, a part of the Trump campaign. He was the leader of the Trump campaign, and therefore I think that he would somehow be involved as a target in that investigation, or at least a subject of that investigation. So are you saying you do, you do not trust William Barr? Um, I think uh, it's not that I don't necessarily trust, it's that I want the homework. I want to see exactly what's in the Mueller report, and I want to see uh, what are the underlying documents, and we may even need to talk to Mr. Mueller himself. But the point is that uh, we're all just speculating right now because we don't have that report. You know, the Attorney General set a low bar, so to speak, for exoneration. He said that he's exonerated even though there's evidence of obstruction of justice that we can't even see. So that is uh, why so many people around here are willing to uh, respect the conclusions of Robert Mueller, but they want to see the homework. They want to see what's in the report and the underlying documents. Congressman Krishnamurthy, thank you very much.